Hi, everyone. It's uh, Sunday night at 535. The futures are not open yet, but I was trying to get the letter out a little earlier. Uh, and so this is your weekly gold update, and it's going to entail a couple of other charts. But as you can see by this chart, the gold has finally put itself into parallel channels between the highs and the lows of this recent rise. And as you can see, we also on the weekly bounced off the 50 bar moving average, went right down to it, slightly lower low than uh, last week, I believe 1776. And this week was 1767. So yes, slightly lower low, and then uh, up and closing near the high. I'm actually a little disappointed that this didn't act a little better. Um, and the reason that I say that is we'll go to another chart and that would be the US dollar. Um, and the dollar is just getting mercilessly pounded. Uh, in my comment on the uh, US dollar on this page, uh, you'll see uh, I've done a lot of work on it and there's really no question as to the direction of the dollar right now. We are definitely headed back towards a test, I believe, of this range in here, somewhere between 90 and let's just call that 88. And then after that, uh, you know, we're all the way back substantially lower. This is the area I just showed you. After that, there's no support for this until 85 and possibly not that much there, but that was an important breakout to the upside. So uh, we go back, get rid of this monthlies, go to the weeklies again, and you see that's the area I was talking about. Now, uh, we also got into uh, in the big account and in fact, it was shared on um, all of the uh, with Discord, and that is the Platinum. And the Platinum is a really interesting chart because traditionally Platinum trades over gold. And as you can see, the Platinum has the same kind of little channel in here from this range and the bottoms, except that it has broken out and closed at 1,072.80 this week. Uh, which is uh, pretty substantial. I'm going to show you really what platinum looks like in the long term because platinum, as I said, always used to sell at a premium to gold. And here we have uh, this high back in 2008 in the platinum of 2308. Go back to the gold, 2008. And let's just see where that was. The gold in 2008 was way back here in the range of 900 to 1,000. So uh, I believe that the platinum is uh, looking like it's trying to reassert itself as the premium. Uh, same situation with uh, palladium, uh, which is another derivative mined with it. And here, uh, this one hasn't really broken out yet, but, you know, <laughs> this is a 20-year monthly chart. It's never been higher than it was right here. And that high is up at 2789. We're currently 2357. So uh, none of these things are at highs except the gold and as you know it has pulled back uh, from that move over 2000 and you know uh, I'm, I'm very bullish on it and you saw with the uh, chart on the dollar uh, that that should in fact uh, be uh, giving a lot of support to any commodity that's a worldwide commodity uh, that is uh, quoted in the reserve currency, which is the US dollar. Um, and those include coffee, cocoa, 
sugar, the gold, all of the metals, and uh, that's what I have for you. So I'm looking for an up week this week in the gold. Uh, we have to get through here, this uh, 1875 to, let's just call it 20, 1875 to 1930, 1940. Um, if we can get through there, I think we have reversed this little downtrend that has been here uh, since we made the high back in early August. Okay, everyone, hope everyone had a nice, safe weekend, and I'll be back first thing in the morning with the opening comment.